Hello and welcome comrade, Gerald here with tutorial 9 for workers and resources, Soviet Republic. Topic for today, stations. In case you missed the previous tutorials, there is a link with the playlist in the description of the video. And now, jumping into the tutorial. Build a new residential area. Okay, let's do that. We will start with some road. Good work. Comrade. Build a new residential area. So we have the same instruction. Different building. More? For anyone wondering, I'm using the R button to turn the... The building's 90 degrees or the scroll... Uh, button on my mouse to turn it with a smaller gradient. Build a bus stop for this area. Alright, so we have two buildings, one bus stop. Perfect work, comrade. Connect to those two residential areas. Ah, there is already a residential area here. Boom, good work, comrade. Very quickly building these roads. Ah, we have a factory here as well. Food factory, okay. So we have two residential areas. Uh, road vehicles, depot, grocery store, another bus platform. And a few more residential buildings, okay. Big factories like this cause pollution that can affect the health of your citizens. So it's better to build them further away from residential areas. Absolutely. You don't want your citizens to be sick. Also, all refineries are huge. 500 workers. Perfect work, comrades. And they look awesome, by the way. Hey, <laughs> very nice. Buy all refinery. Buy oil for the refinery once it's finished. Perfect work, comrade. Good job. Connect the refinery to the rest of the infrastructure network. I guess they are missing a little bit of uh, <laughs> words here. The the is missing. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Let's look at the ways you can transfer workers or passengers between two different vehicles. Build the bus station. Perfect work. So we have bus stops, which I guess are tiny. Ah, trolley bus stops as well. Bus stop free. Ah, and that's one that is just... Uh, what is it? Ah, it's free because it's port probably... I don't know. Okay, whatever. Uh, and bus platforms which are bigger and can handle more citizens and workers. Oh, bus station for 2,000 people? Nice. Doesn't look very big though for 2,000 people, right? Okay, let's build, let's follow the tutorial. Uh, so we are... Connect the stations using a footpath. Well, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You're doing great. So I imagine we will take them from here, bring them here, and then take everybody to the refinery. And also these guys. Around this bus station, there is nowhere for the workers to work, so they will not even step onto the bus. But you can specify at this first bus station where the workers should go from here. This will force workers to step onto the bus and transfer to the second bus station when they arrive. Aha, so this is a very, very important part of the game. If, for example, we set up um, a line from this bus stop here that is right next to the residential buildings directly to, let's say, a bus stop that is going to the oil uh, refinery, they will 
like the algorithm will get that there is somewhere that they can go and they will start lining up to go to work to the refinery but if you do it here they don't strictly know where they have to go after they get out of the bus here so they will not do anything so we have to set them up at buildings where citizens should go as you can see here or where should citizens be going for their free time where should students be trying to attend school where should tourists go and also uns at other unspecified buildings where citizens should go so you have a lot of control over where they should go after they use the public transportation by a bus it will take workers from the first residential area to the first bus station perfect work okay now we have to open it pin it perfect work by a bus we already did that There you go, so that's our first line, taking from this residential area to this bus stop. Awesome. Let's try another method for transferring. The second method requires only one station, and you will specify this station as a transfer station. This will force workers to step off the bus, even if there is nothing around, and step out onto the station to wait for another bus. Buy a bus. This one will take workers from the second residential area to the transfer bus station. You're doing great. Open the window and pin it. Oh. So now we take from the second residential. Ah, to the other bus stop. Okay. Why do we click on... Ah, on the first one we don't unload. In this one, we only unload. Four citizens to step out of the vehicle, vehicle at this stop. Transfer point to another line. Okay. Aha, so we are going to load at this station. Everybody. Then we are going to go to the other station. And we are going to unload everybody and force them to unload. Interesting. Good work, comrade. I, I expected it to be that one. Buy a bus. This one will take workers from the transfer bus station directly into our refinery. Buses can be used to deliver workers not only to bus stations, but also directly to large factories. Big factories like the ore refinery need a lot of workers. Sometimes a single factory will need workers from multiple cities to operate at full capacity. Wow, well, it makes complete sense. You're doing great. Let's open it. In it. And now... Aha, so we're going to take from this directly to the refinery. Okay, good job, good job. So everyone that comes here and here is going to take that pass and go to the refinery very interesting let's see it in practice okay so this guy is getting workers okay okay can we move faster yes we can okay he's going to the transfer station He's leaving everyone, they're still waiting here. And this guy didn't have any, anyone to take, so we will have to see him coming back now. And he's going to stop here in one of the parking spots for buses in the oil refinery. Okay. So he's moving. And now he's going to take everyone from this station. There we go, eight workers. And he's going to let them work. In the oil refinery. Boom! Eight workers. Awesome stuff and we are producing fuel. 
Okay, great. So, very important to know, when we click on the bus platform, we can choose where people go and we can force them to get out somewhere and to go to some other place. Alright, that's all for this tutorial. If something was left unclear, feel free to ask in the comment section. Before you go, leave the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.